Hey guys, it's Patrice, and I'm going to do a little tarot reading, and it's so interesting because I did lead generation with a friend yesterday, and this one card came up, and it's this one, um, and it's the devil card, and I was literally thinking about it and about, like, how great that conversation was, swear to God, and that one, like, jumped out of the deck, so I'm like, okay, I guess this is what I'm, I guess this is our theme for the day, so she and I were speaking about, um, and I think it's true for all of us out there, is that, like, this card is called the devil, Ooh, right? It's super scary or, or so it seems like at first glance, you see that it's like, it's dark outside. We're in the woods. You know, it's like tangly branches. You start thinking about like the Harry Potter and all of those movies where the trees come to life and you're like, oh my God, there's so much fear. And you see this gigantic bat, like, oh my gosh, like imagine that. And especially as you look, it looks like they're kind of coming out. So when it was deep, oh my God, it must have been incredibly scary, right? Like we've been going through so many things, like whether it's a heavy burden of our finances or our health or, um, you know, a relationship challenge or communication or just kind of anything, right? A lot of times we put these gigantic fears out. But the neat thing is like this little guy is kind of, as he's come out into the light a little bit more, if you look at him, he's actually pretty cute, right? Like he's adorable. Like he's wearing a little bow tie, like he's going to a little Halloween party. He's actually gray, which is kind of like a gentle, he's got like the color of a bunny, and he's actually kind of furry. So he's actually like the cutest, furriest bat. And yes, he's big, but maybe he's also just close to the camera. Like maybe it's just our perspective that makes him seem like he's big and everything in the dark seems bigger than life. So, and then also like, it kind of seemed a little bit scary, but like in our little thing, here we are with like our friend. And for, um, for us, we were saying like, that's kind of like our higher selves a little bit. And like, you know, like we kind of guide ourselves through those scary portions. And for me, this card is saying like, you know, yeah, like the guy's there, but like what we've been calling the devil, maybe isn't as scary as like it once was when we were farther back in the dark. And so for this, this is a very coming out, <laughs> coming out of challenges. And then the crazy thing. So here's the Knight of Cups and this is the, the Knight of Love. And like, this is the Knight of like bringing love to you. So it's sweetness and it's kindness and it's things that are coming. And you know, again, he's riding like his little, his little seahorsey. And the cool thing is about the seahorse is we're doing a lot of like divine masculine, divine feminine energy and divine masculine energy is electric. It's moving forward. It's that drive. I actually have more divine masculine energy in me than I have a divine feminine. Actually, I have to work at my divine feminine. Divine feminine is that nurturing. Yes, I am that also, but like, I always feel like I have to do something, right? So the neat thing is the seahorse, it's the masculine energy that actually is the father that carries the baby. So I kind of really love this card because not only is it like a horse coming forward, but it's like, it's the best of our masculine energy. It's seeing masculine energy as the best as it is because that masculine energy you know, and you hear about toxic masculinity, it started with a root of protecting and creating and like making stability for our family. So for me, I just love this. This is literally like, you know, all of the systems in our lives, the things uh, kind of helping us a little bit more. And for us to see all of that is nurturing. So I think that's just a really cool card. So I'm going to quickly pull three and we'll see what we'll say. I'll try not to say too much about it because I'm already going long. But I did say a few of you have like really appreciated that one card slid. So I'm going to check out that one too. But a few of you have like appreciated and found that these readings resonated. So I'm just going to go all in. So it's interesting, really interesting, because the first two cards are the moon and the high priestess, and both of these are cards of hidden meanings. And when we're looking for similarities, look, like over here in the moon, it's like those same trees, but it's almost like, excuse me, the high priestess over here, card over here, which has the moon in it. Again, crazy similarities. And of course, when the moon looks like this, it's always a darker sky, right? So when we see our darkened skies and we actually look up and see it for the fruits that's in there and like see all kind of good stuff, then maybe it's not as bad as we thought. So again, this is a card of like something that's been hidden, something that's behind. It's also that power or the high priestess is like, she doesn't say everything that she knows and maybe that's okay. But I think that's us following our own belief, which is funny because that's super my theme right now. <laughs> It's that I don't need someone else to validate me. You know, I don't need to tell my friend so that she could agree with me that, yeah, that sounds about right before I'm going to believe it or get that approval. And so for me, this is just that really like your major inner knowing. And the moon is the same thing. Again, the moon is our guiding light in a lot of ways. But the way that I've had this card taught to me is that the moon's whatever we put our energy in. So it's really that unknown factor. And it's if we expect it to happen, that's how I see it. When we expect goodness, we're going to get goodness because we're going to do the actions that naturally lead us to goodness. 
And when we expect failure, well, we're going to be half-ass and we're going to be shortcutting and we're going to do things in a way like, uh, I'm just going through the motions, right? And so we're going to end up with failure. And so for this card, like that's crazy. And what's even magical about this is then we get the 10 of pentacles. The 10 of coins is what it's called on this card. But this is the card of ultimate total abundance, total happiness. The 10 of hearts can be a little bit fantasy and like pie in the sky, very unicorns and rainbows. But when we have the pentacles, that's the foundation. So this is true abundance. This is building from a very stable foundation. And again, because of the message of the cards, I believe that we are seeing ourselves. Remember on the other one, there was like a boy and a girl in there. And this is again, two silent beings. This is you in your own silence. And then this is knowing that like, you're never alone. So I love that. And then this card wanted to slide. So I just want to say, oh my God, this is the universe. God source, the universe judgment. When I put this card down, it slid like in a way that got my attention. And that's the only reason I'm wasn't intending to pull it, but this is judgment. This is God source, the universe. Oh my God, I love this reading. And isn't that nice? Like it's just kind of all of us like playing and frolicking in the water, kind of the dolphin mermaid kind of thing. And water always represents love. Think of it as lubrication, like in our, our world, that electricity that we talked about, it's kind of like static electricity. Sometimes if you're not lubricated, if you're, if you need lotion or whatever, you know, you step on the carpet and it zaps you and it kind of hurts a little bit and it gets your attention. So this is like, so much love energy and so much nurturing. So I love this for today. How exciting. So for all of us in like our change journey, this is just showing me like only goodness that comes from here. And, but we don't turn away from that. We can't run back into the woods because if we don't continue to come forward, then we can, we can certainly go back in the woods. Remember the moon tells you you can go one way or the other, right? Like you have two options. So you can either continue to go forward Yes, it may be challenging, but just like trusting yourself and knowing that you're not alone. Or if you run backwards or cower and hide, then you're just going to be trapped in there and, and unknown. But the reality is, is these fears, these big giant bat fears, they're actually not as bad as we thought. So ultimately, that's where the lessons are. So find out what is that fear teaching you? What is that lesson? And move on. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye. Oh, and do PM me or DM me if, you, if it, the message resonates because that always makes me happy. Okay, bye.